So what we have today for your viewing pleasure and enjoyment is a brief review on the Central Pneumatic 3 gallon hot dog style air compressor. This is a, a Harbor Freight unit. It is definitely not made for, for heavy duty, but I actually picked it up uh, just to have as a portable for when I'm using my air nailing, uh, nail guns, that type of thing. Real light duty stuff. I got it for 39 bucks with a coupon. So we're going to uh, get right into her here and, and see what you get for uh, for 39 bucks. So we'll start by uh, opening up the box. much easier and because it's not a wide pancake style it's much easier to carry it's not bashing you in the knee when you're walking with it so those are the main reasons uh, why I, I liked it aside from the fact that it's 39 bucks uh, you're not really gonna go wrong there I've got a uh, quick disconnect fitting on uh, hold on, where's my zoom there we go quick disconnect fitting already pre-attached uh, the world's most possibly the cheapest regulator ever made uh, 39 bucks, what do you want? Pressure release, uh, tank pressure gauge, and the uh, regulated output pressure gauge. Really, really cheap cord, um, which says it's a third of a horsepower, so I guess that's okay, but decent length on the cord. So we'll uh, get this thing fired up, get some air in it, and uh, we'll see how long it takes to, uh, to fill. So the manual says it'll take about four minutes and I measured a uh, hair under five to go from uh, zero to 100 PSI shutoff, but it did get there. Um, noise wise, a typical single stage compressor, you know, mount, pump mounted to the to the compressor portion. So it's it's loud, but it's de it's not the loudest one I've ever heard. I've, I've got a, a three horsepower here one that's actually louder. So not too bad. Um, I do want to take a look at uh, the quality of the pump itself. Hopefully that's in frame. It is. So uh, we're gonna pop it open here and, and again uh, part of me is just curious How they do this stuff for 39 bucks And then the other part of me always likes to check some of this stuff Because you're bound to have a fire hazard in one or two of them Not too bad. Uh, decent sized little motor. Crappy little crimp on connectors for your air hose. So if this thing stops building pressure but it runs, first thing to do, I put my money on this air hose. They got this thing holding 100 PSI anytime this thing's loaded and lo or, or on. And just some real crappy crimp on style connectors for the air hose there. So uh, as far as the motor itself, Decent sized cooling fan, staked on connectors, not that great. Uh, let's see. Well, they did fuse the hot side, so that's not bad for Chineseium. And decent pressure switch. Actually, yeah, uh, name brand pressure switch, you all listed. Um, not bad. Uh, wiring's not too shabby. Motor is actually pretty terrible. Um, yeah, there's nothing, there's no schmoo in there holding the uh, armature wiring together. But I, 39 bucks, man, I, I don't know how you make, how you ship a tank that big, fabricate and ship a tank for 39 bucks. So overall, nothing uh, too alarming on the inside uh, here. Um, and actually, considering how long it ran, it's 
I would say cool to the touch, but it, it, it's, not, uh, it's not burning up. So not too bad on the inside. So overall, um, I mean, if you can get this for 39 bucks, you, there's no way you can go wrong. Uh, for the full price at 50 bucks, I, I think you're definitely getting your money's worth for sure. And uh, again, with the handle on here, this is a super, super easy little compressor to carry. And I don't see anything, um, anything on here that would that would scare me away from using it on a semi-regular basis for light, light duty stuff. Um, it at 90 psi, it's only putting out uh, about 0.6 cfm or cubic feet per minute of air. That is very slow. Uh, so if you are trying to even use it to just blow things off, you're you're gonna wish you bought a bigger compressor real fast. But for the again for the light duty stuff. Uh, 39 bucks well spent. Thank you very much for watching.